Article 12. Move that the town transfer from water reserves $47,495 for water tank mixers and associated installation costs for the water division. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and second. And select board recommends four in favor, one abstention. Finance committee, three in favor. Capital planning committee, five in favor. Selectman Dukevich. Good evening. The two water tanks need mixers to keep water circulating and to avoid the possibility of bacterial growth in stagnant water. The Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection has stated that they will not allow the town to end chlorination of its water supply until the tank mixers are installed. This article would provide that funding. The price is based on a bid, funding is from water reserves, and there is no impact on water rate or taxes. Thank you. This is something different from for agitating water in a tank. I'm assuming other towns do this? Or are we doing this? Why? This is based on some kind of evidence? I've worked uh, many communities outside of Hadley, and uh, I happen to be with an engineer from Tyne Bond. This is a very common practice in most communities that have water tanks. It keeps the water from being stagnant. Stagnant water can, can cause uh, chloroform bacteria, which is one of our problems. What this will do is eliminate one more possible source that the town is experiencing with bacteria. Once these mixes are in, as uh, Mr. Devine stated, uh, that we can go back to negotiations with DEP and hopefully get off the of chlorination. Good news. Uh, Andy Morris Friedman, 25 Roosevelt. Ooh, I got a shock. Uh, Sounds um, not responsible for that. Yeah. Um, we spent a lot of money for water reserves tonight. Could you tell us how much was in the fund and how much we spent total and what's left? There's over a million dollars in water reserves right now, and if everything passes as uh, uh, proposed to you tonight, we'll spend $127,000 from that. So there'll still be ample reserves uh, for the operations and uh, good credit rating of the town. Shell Harlan, 16 Barstow Lane. I'm not a big fan of chlorinating the water, and therefore I will be voting yes. <laughs> Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. The town has had a water system for 50-something years. How come all of a sudden now it's a problem? We've got to start mixing it up. Can someone explain that? That's the $2 question. Uh, no. We've done, the water department has aggressively done a lot of work in the last, I'd say, I don't know, what have we been on the board, Joyce? Nine years? <laughs> um, we've done a tremendous amount of leak detection and we've taken our unaccounted for water. I think when Joyce and I first got on, our unaccounted for water in this town was like 23 or 24 percent and now we're down to two, three, four percent. So basically think about one fifth of the water that we used to pump from our pump stations nine years ago never got billed. It was it never showed up anywhere. Um, and we were we were up against our pump limit with DEP, and that was one of the things that they mandated to us is that we had to get that number down. So through leak detection, every time you find a leak that used to leak X amount of gallons of water that's good for us and it's good for the water rate payers because you're not paying money to pump it in a field or in a stream or somewhere but every time you tighten that system and that allows the potential for bacteria to grow. The other thing that we have is we have a very old system with very old pipes and unfortunately there's a lot of dead-end pipes in this town. Um, in 
the dead end pipes are probably the biggest possible cause of the bacteria. If you think about it, if you have a long street, let's say you have a thousand foot street and it's a dead end pipe, if that pipe's going east and west and the, there's a main here that feeds it and the system is pressurized, the potential is for this water to sit at the end of this pipe for who knows how long before it actually is allowed back into the system. Now, traditionally, we've had coliform hits in the same part of town, North Hadley, <laughs> um, and usually it's been after an event where there's a water line break, which, if you think about it, makes sense because if you have a dead end pipe, and the bacteria is down here on the end of the pipe on a dead end and then all of a sudden you have a water line break which allows a lot of water out of the pipe in a very short period of time that would allow that bacteria to get back out here into the main line and then get detected so there's a lot of thought into how we can possibly rectify this in the in the water department is being very vigilant about it we are proposing we are putting in separate sanitary uh, testing stations for accuracy um, but a lot most of our hits have been in North Hadley that's why we're looking at physically taking sections of pipe to see how clean they are inside we've changed the way we flush in this town we used to flush one way for years now we do biodirectional flushing to try and keep the pipes as clean as we can but it's a very complicated issue Mr. Matusko. Yes, sir. You know who's calling the tune on this deal? The Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection. Okay? And they're the ones that put us on coronation. And they're the ones that said that if we put do this and put the mixers in, they'll entertain the thought of getting us off coronation. That's why we have to do it. It's because we're told to do it. Thank you. Brian, if you're selecting long enough, you turn into an engineer, don't you? <laughs> Further discussion? If you go to enough areas, you hear it over and over. I hear you. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously.